Databases can be significantly different from one to another, using different controlled vocabulary, search functions, and syntax. Let's compare PubMed to Embase. PubMed's controlled vocabulary is Mesh, while Embase uses mTree terms. With search functions, PubMed does not allow proximity searches and has fewer options for wildcard searching. On the other hand, Embase has more options available. Finally, there's a different syntax. PubMed search tags do not work in Embase. Instead, Embase uses field codes for search terms. You will likely need to translate the search strategy when you switch to a new database because of these differences. This video shows you how to translate a PubMed strategy for searching Embase. In our demonstration, we'll work with this research question about the treatment of heart attacks with aspirin. On the right is a search strategy that represents this question in a PubMed search. If you're not familiar with how to write this strategy, please click the link at the top to watch our video on strategy formulation. To translate a strategy from PubMed to Embase, here are the procedures. Replace search filters, replace controlled vocabulary, exchanging mesh terms with mTree terms, replace text word search tags, use a proximity search if applicable, use a wildcard search if applicable, and finally, check the set numbers. Begin by creating a text version of the strategy, which will be easier to edit. Copy and paste the PubMed search into a text editor like one of these. Step 1. Replace search filters. If the strategy includes a PubMed search filter, replace it with an Embase version. In our case, we have a PubMed search filter for randomized controlled trials. We need to replace these statements with the Embase search filter for randomized trials. To find the corresponding Embase search filter, refer to organizations like these. This is the Embase search filter for randomized controlled trials that I found. Let's replace the PubMed search filter with this Embase version. Here's our strategy after replacing the search filter. Remember to adjust set numbers so that search combinations match the history accurately. Here's our strategy after adjusting the incorrect set number. Step 2. Replace the controlled vocabulary terms. Exchange the strategy's mesh terms with their equivalent mTree terms. mTree is Embase's controlled vocabulary system. To find a mesh terms corresponding mTree term, there are three options. Option 1. Run a preliminary Embase search, select a relevant result, and then examine its assigned mTree terms. Click the Index Terms tab in a search result and then review the mTree terms assigned to the publication. Option 2. Use the mTree thesaurus. It's available through the link in the upper right corner of Embase. Afterward, search on your topic to find the corresponding mTree term. Option 3. Type your topic into the quick search box. If applicable, Embase will automatically suggest an mTree term. Let's translate the mesh terms in our strategy, myocardial infarction and aspirin. I used the quick search box and found that the corresponding mTree terms are heart infarction and acetosalicylic acid. To replace the mesh term, delete the term and don't forget to remove the search tag. Next, insert the mTree term, placing single quotation marks around it. And finally, add the appropriate search field code. Typically, we use an exploded search, which finds the mTree term and the more specific terms beneath it in the hierarchy. The field code is forward slash exp. Another option is the non-exploded search, which finds the mTree term only. The field code is forward slash de. Let's replace the mesh terms in our strategy with mTree terms using an exploded search. Here's the search strategy after translating the controlled vocabulary. Does your PubMed strategy use subheading searches? 
mtree has different subheadings from the mesh system. To see the available subheadings and their codes, refer to the Embase help manual. Here's a quick overview on translating Embase subheading searches. Add subheading codes to the end of an mtree term. In this example, I added the subheading for oral drug administration. For a floating subheading search, which seeks a subheading attached to any mtree term, enter the full subheading name followed by the link field code, forward slash LNK. Refer to the Embase help manual for details. Step 3. Replace the text word search tags. We need to exchange the PubMed search tags with Embase field codes. Additionally, exchange any double quotes with single quotation marks. Here's how to replace a PubMed search tag with an Embase field code for common types of text word searches. First is the PubMed text word search. Replace the square bracketed TW with colon TI, comma, AB, comma, KW, comma, DE. Notice that field searches are separate for the title, abstract, keyword, and mtree searches. To search multiple fields at once, add the field codes separated by commas. Next is the PubMed title abstract search. Replace the square bracketed TIAB with colon TI, comma AB, comma KW. Here are examples of these translations. And remember, replace any double quotes with single quotes. Let's replace the PubMed search tags in our strategy with Embase field codes and replace any double quotes with single quotes. Here's our search strategy after replacing the PubMed search tags. Step four, if applicable, use a proximity search. Proximity searching is not available in PubMed, but you can use it in Embase. This search finds one word occurring within a specific distance of another word. Use proximity searches for text words and not for controlled vocabulary terms. Proximity searching is beneficial for an expression where the position of its words is not consistent. For example, low back pain could also be expressed as pain in the low back. Both expressions have low, back, and pain in common, but the word order and its adjacency are different. Through a proximity search, we could capture both of these expressions. Embase has two types of proximity searches. First, the near operator finds one word located within a specific distance of another word, in either direction. The letter N denotes the distance between words. Here's an example. Healthy near heart with a distance of three words can retrieve the following expressions. This operator also searches in reverse order it can retrieve these expressions where heart occurs before healthy. The second type of proximity search uses the next operator. It finds one word located within a specific distance of another word, but only in the specified order. The letter N denotes the distance between words. For example, patient next to education with a distance of three words can retrieve the following expressions. It will not search for these words in reverse order. Let's review the text words in our strategy and use proximity searching if applicable. Remember, this search is beneficial for expressions where the word position is not consistent. In our strategy, there is no clear need for proximity searching. Step 5. If applicable, use a wildcard search. Wildcards retrieve different characters in a word. Use wildcard searches for text words and not for controlled vocabulary terms. A popular wildcard is the truncation search, which retrieves the different endings of a word stem. In PubMed, an asterisk symbol at the end of a word stem denotes truncation. It's the same in Embase, so no translation is required for truncation. Embase has wildcard searches that are not available in PubMed. First is the middle of word truncation. The asterisk can represent zero or more characters in the middle of a term. 
Next is the single character wildcard. It represents a single letter or number in a word. Lastly, we have a wildcard that represents zero or one character. As shown in the example, it can help find UK and US spellings. Review the text words in your search strategy and use Embase wildcard searching if applicable. In our strategy, there's no clear need for additional wildcard searches. In the final step, check the set numbers. Do the set combinations still match the search history? You may need to adjust the set numbers so they correspond. Looking at our set numbers, I don't see any mismatch in the combinations. The set numbers correspond. A quick note. The following search operators do not require translation. The AND, OR, AND parentheses operators are the same in PubMed and Embase. In summary, databases may use different controlled vocabulary, search functions, and syntax. As a result, you will likely need to translate the search strategy when switching to a new database. This video showed you how to translate a search from PubMed to Embase through the following six steps. After running a translated search, pay close attention to any error messages in the database. Ideas can get lost in translation.